liquidity. As we just said, liquidity is a multi-dimensional concept. In the literature, it is usually described in three aspects: breadth, depth, and resonance. When we call a market broad, when there are a lot of people in the market and no one has big market power over others, it is very similar to the idea in economics, what we call competitive market. When the market is competitive, no player is big enough to set the power so that you can easily buy and sell. Otherwise, if someone have significant market power, he can refuse to trade at the price you want. He can always have power to set the price that you may not want to trade. So broad market means uh, the price is not easily controlled by some powerful people. And second dimension is depth. When the market is deep, which means that the price doesn't change a lot regard regarding the demand and supply, which means if um, the change in demand or change in supply, the price doesn't change a lot. The third dimension is resonance, which means that if there's suddenly change in the market situation and the market return to equilibrium quickly, for example, someone suddenly come and buy a lot, and the market price would go up, but then uh, the market adjusts quickly and go back to the original price. So let's illustrate this in a nice graph. So you can see this graph, the horizontal dimension is quantity and vertical dimension is price. So it's standard uh, you see in microeconomics. So here, we see that different from standard uh, financial market is uh, characterized by uh, two different prices, which is ask price and bid price, which is buying price and selling price. So you can see the uh, discrepancy of these two prices, which is called bid ask spread, is the breadth of the market. And the uh, quantity that's supporting the ask price and bid price is called the depth. And how fast this uh, adjustment uh, go back to this original ask price and bid price is called resonance.